challenges in PA are briefly finding the ostium of the prostatic artery, finding the prostatic artery and getting into the prostatic artery. And then when we are into the prostatic artery, making sure we don't have non-target embolization. It's quite a complex intervention because of the uh, tortuosity of the arteries, of the variation of the anatomy. Cone beam CT is a must, and this is recognized by every users, whether beginners or late adopters, or people who are very experienced, uh, because of the help in uh, being able to go uh, faster and safer to complete the procedure. We uh, began to work uh, with the new generation uh, end of August this year. It's a complete different uh, world. I think it's a complete different change in the workflow. Before we had some significant challenges which were mostly interacting with the 3D volume and discussing with the technician on exactly what we need. I want to see this, I want to see that. So they were not really able to understand. Now we are doing it on our own so we can interact internally with the group. I mean the resident, the fellow and myself and then we can navigate through the volume much easier because the workflow is really well described and really progressive and easy to understand. We can really do it very smoothly without any interruption and I'm, I'm quite confident that we win a lot of time. What I really like with the Smart City, it's all the pictograms, all the colors, all the drawing and all the steps that you can follow really easily and really good for the beginners we are able to rely on much less experienced people and we are confident that they can complete the intervention 100% using the new tools. In addition, something which is very important for an academic hospital because we are receiving a lot of emergency cases from outside, especially during the night and the weekend. We are very uh, reduced number, so with this new uh, interface we can really go uh, in more details faster and safer without the need of so many people. I think the patient is uh, in a better condition because we stay uh, near him during the whole intervention as compared to before when we had to take out the gloves, go to the workstation, do the manipulation and then come back five minutes later. So it's very good for patient-doctor relation. Smart CT, in one word, I would say bringing cone beam in the real life on a day-to-day -day practice. All the guidance, all the tools now are used daily by everybody as compared as to the situation before, where it would be only selected super experts that would be able to use it.